Hello. I was uh, thinking the other day about uh, something I had read. Uh, we're studying the book of Nehemiah in a church, and I was trying to just kind of get the overall flavor of the book, so I was reading ahead as they instructed. I wouldn't, you understand, I was following instructions. But anyway, as I read on, I came to an interesting section in Nehemiah, and that is when it came time to construct the wall, to rebuild the wall around Jerusalem, they didn't have this massive works program where they called everybody out of the city and said, okay, uh, group A, you're going to do this. Group B, you're going to do this. No, it was more a matter of, if there's a picture of uh, Joe will take care of the part of the wall in front of his house. Sam and his family will take care of part of the part of the wall in front of their house. And Sarah and her family, Folks will take care of part of the wall that backs up to their house. And they go through all of the names. Of course, at this time, it was all the male names. And they went through and they talked about how each household took care of the part of the wall right by their house. And God really impressed me about the, with the fact that we are called to take care of the wall in front of our house. Now, I don't mean literally we're building walls, but in this case, there was a large task which could have seemed overwhelming, but God called them to their specific parts, taking care of where they had an impact. And I'm thinking about whether it's with COVID, you know, people say, oh, you're praying for your family, you're praying for your church, you're so selfish. No, we need to be taking care of praying about the part of the wall in front of us. Yes, pray for the whole world, but also work and pray in that part where we have contact. Um, when it comes to service, Yes, we need to have our missions. We need to have a, a global perspective, but we need to remember that we have a place where we are too. And that's where the mission starts. That's where we have our primary calling unless God leads us elsewhere. Uh, we're called to love that person sitting next to us, uh, you know, on the bus, uh, that person who is taking care of us at the restaurant, that classmate, that whoever they are, the, our family, the people we live with. That's our section of the wall that we need to be first focused on. And then as we all do our part, the whole of the work gets done as God works through each one of us on the individual task that's in front of us. Just a thought for the day. God bless.